Hello. In this video, we will discuss random plots and thresholding. I, I will show you how to plot random plots using two ways. First, simulating. Second, code. Let's go to source, signal generator, then sync, scope. Join them. Run the program. Sorry. Before running, go open and just single generator parameters. Select random amplitude. Okay. Run it again. Auto scale. So we get a random plots. It look like a square wave with varying amplitude. Let's see how do we plot random plots in. MATLAB command prompt. This is the code. Let's run it first. So we got two random plots and the average value plotted in the graph. The first two lines will generate 20 random numbers and store it in X and Y array. Sum X and Sum Y will find the sum for the last four digits in the array. AVX and AVY will find the average and we will plot the values. Now how this is used in thresholding is that we will use AVX and AVY as a threshold value and plot values only greater than uh, them or less than them. Let's see the application in the next program. In this program I am I'm asking the user to input 5 elements and then input a threshold value and I will tell him the filtered output let's see see input array was 1 2 3 4 5 my threshold value is 2 and so the, all the values greater than threshold value is displayed in the output. The, in this, the new commands I have used in this program is display command. It displays a string in the command prompt. Input command. It allows the u user to input values. And that's it. Nothing new. Thanks for watching.